Good day. This is our second video on sketching exponential graphs. It's for grade 10. The basic formula is y equals to a times b to the power of x plus q. Formula we're using grade 10. Here now is the four steps we use to draw an exponential graph. Firstly, we find the one asymptote, y equals to bad guy. Second, we work out the y-intercept by making x naught. Three, we use the table to find one or two more coordinates. 4. We work out the x-intercept, if it has an x-intercept, by making y 0. So here is our equation. g of x equals to y equals to 3 to the power of x minus 1. I look at my formula. Yes, it looks fine. So I just write y equals to 3 to the power of x minus 1. The first thing I work out is my 1 asymptote, y equals to bad guy. In this case, it will be y equals to, the bad guy is minus 1, so y equals to minus 1. At this stage, I start a rough sketch. On my sketch, I have a y-axis and an x-axis, and I now know that the asymptote is y equals to minus 1, and y equals to minus 1 will run under the x-axis through where y is minus 1. Right? At this stage, we don't know what our interval should be, but I'm still planning. The next thing we work out is the y-intercept by making x 0. We take our original equation, rewrite it, and make the x 0. So I've got y equals to 3 to the power of 0 minus 1. Use your calculator extensively, I said. 3 to the power of 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 will then give you 0. That I then indicate on my y-axis. So there's my y-axis. I find the coordinate north and north. That's over there. And there is the little cross I made. So my y-intercept is there. My asymptote is there. The third thing we work out is we make a table to, want to find one or two more coordinates. In any table, we start with naught and choose one or two numbers on the left or one or two numbers on the right, both sides of the naught. Then I use my calculator, like I said, extensively. I take that, first I take the 2, and in the place of x, I put it in my equation up here, and I get an answer 8. It's a little bit big, so let's let it wait. Then I take a smaller number 1 for x, plug it in there with my calculator, get the answer 2. Take the naught again, put it in the place of x, use my calculator, get naught. Take a minus 2, plug it in the air, into the place of x there, get the answer, minus 8 over 9. Right, and then I plot these points on the Cartesian plane. At this stage, I then decided to make my intervals on my y-axis 2 units per measurement, and on my x-axis, I made it 1 unit per measurement. So I went 1, 2 here. Minus 1, minus 2, and up here I went 2, 4, 6, 8, and I went 2, 4 for every unit. It's going to help me to plot these points. Now I'm going to look for the coordinate north and north, so that I did already. Then I look for the coordinate x is 2, y is 8, so x is 2, y is 8, there's the cross. Next one, x is 1, and y is 2, x is 1, and y is 2, there's the cross. The next one, I take minus 2 for x. And this ugly fraction for y. So there is where x is minus 2. And minus 8 over 9 is just above minus 1. And that's why that's that little cross that you, that you see over there. I worked out another one. It's not important now. I've got a cross over there. My y-intercept, a cross over there, and another one there. The rough sketch will then look like this. The fourth thing I have to work out is my x-intercept, if it has an x-intercept. It looks to me like it is going to go through here, but we already worked it out. It was in these calculations, but let's see how we would work it out separately. If you have to work out your x-intercept, yes, there will be one. You make y equal to 0. You write 0 equals to 3 to the power of x minus 1. You solve this exponential equation. You take the 1 over. Then 1 is 3 to the power of 0. Now, my bases are the same, so we can know that 0 equals x or x equals 0, but that we already luckily worked out on the y-intercept. And here is the final, more on scale, sketch of this specific equation. Enjoy exponential graphs.